Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech for yet more daily gaming news and myself, Amata. Today is still the 24th of January and I have some news for you today regarding Ultra Street Fighter 4. As we had an official statement today from Street Fighter's community manager David Hines on the official Capcom Unity blog, which revealed that Ultra Street Fighter 4 will be including the option to upload previous fights onto YouTube. And his statement reads as such, quote, Have you ever played a momentous match online and wish you had the ability to share it for the world to see? Well, soon you'll be able to do exactly that, using our direct upload to YouTube feature in Ultra Street Fighter 4. You'll be able to select any match from your battle log of online matches and choose whether to upload it in low or high quality directly to your own YouTube channel. Whether it's the best comeback since Diogo vs Justin Wong, or perhaps you had an encounter with pro player you want to share, this feature is great for those who are yet to own a direct capture device and want to show off their favourite Ultra Street Fighter 4 moments. So, what do I think this is going to add to the game? Well, I had a little bit of a chat with my partner in crime, Crimson Rain, over this, as he knows the, the Street Fighter scene more than I do. I'm at best a casual watcher of the occasional match, but to be honest, even that's kind of stretching it a little bit. At the moment, my eSport of choice is StarCraft 2, so he basically thinks that this is going to have not that very much effect on the pro players at all. They probably are not going to use it under most circumstances because, well, they don't want basically people studying them and learning their techniques, their play style and that sort of thing inside and out and basically, you know, giving away information to their opponents, especially if they've got a big tournament coming up or something like that. But even when you're practicing, you know, you're not necessarily going to share it. The big players already have the recognition and things like that, so why would they need to put that out there? Um, what this is probably maybe going to do is possibly lead to the discovery of a new talent and things like that but unless you're a really underground talent that basically you know your scene isn't very big there's not many sort of recruiters or anything in your area or you're not being noticed by any then it might be a way for you to get yourself noticed but I think this is mostly just going to be the for the uploading of casual matches lower ranked players and that sort of thing it's probably going to be the exception rather than the rule that we see a new talent rising from this but of course I'd love to be proved wrong and if any of you disagree then please feel free to let me know in the comments as to what you think. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.